Ever wonder what staring at an eclipse will do to your eye? A woman in New York found out firsthand how a solar eclipse fries your peepers after coming away from the Great American Eclipse with a crescent-shaped eye burn. Naya Payne had peeked at the eclipse with her naked eye for a few seconds before borrowing glasses from a woman nearby. The 26-year-old didn't know what eclipse glasses were supposed to look like, but claims the sun still seemed bright through the pair she had on. Hours later, she noticed her vision getting blurry and she began seeing a weird dark spot. She lost partial vision in her left eye the next day. Doctors examining her eyes were shocked to find that the damaged area in the left retina was crescent-shaped, making it look exactly like the eclipse. They suspect that the glasses she used were either defective or fake, which allowed solar radiation to penetrate through and cause retinal damage. The condition known as solar retinopathy is permanent and is currently untreatable. Instead, Payne has had to retrain her vision to cope, but she'll probably have a permanent crescent-shaped void in her sight for the rest of her life. I think there's something wrong with my eye. Model's eyeball inking goes dreadfully wrong. Meet Kat Gallinger. She's a 24-year-old model from Ottawa, Canada. As you can tell from these photos, she's a fan of getting inked. Recently, she was convinced by a tattoo artist to try something a bit more extreme in the form of a purple eye tattoo. But that procedure went oh so horribly wrong. It went so bad that the infected eye began seeping purple ink. Immediately after the botched inking, Kat went to hospital. There, she was put on a course of antibiotics, but they caused the eye to swell and become completely shut. Next, docs tried steroid treatment, but they made the infection clump. And chances are, Kat's now going to have some sort of permanent vision damage. She shared her story because she doesn't want others to suffer the same fate. The procedure's creator, Luna Cobra, inked his first eyeball tattoo 10 years ago and filmed it. He says this inspired many unqualified copycats around the globe. Cobra told Newsweek this happens all the time all over the world. He's trying to get it banned. Not as harmless as you thought. Doctors in London are warning against the dangers of Nerf guns after at least three people suffered serious injuries from getting hit in the eye. Nerf guns are toys that shoot soft foam projectiles. Official replacement bullets are widely available, but generic ones are cheaper. They're also harder and have more potential to cause injury. Nerf video tutorials abound online, with some giving instructions on how to modify the toy gun to make it shoot faster and farther. Patients who were hit in the eye with Nerf projectiles reportedly complained of blurred vision and pain. Doctors later discovered their eyes were inflamed and blood was pooling in the anterior chamber. Both the cornea and retina had also developed swelling. Fortunately, after being given eye drops, their sight returned to normal in just a few weeks. Such eye trauma may not always lead to permanent vision loss, but could result in a long-term condition like glaucoma. Experts recommend wearing safety glasses to minimize the danger. Nerf manufacturer Hasbro warns people not to aim the guns at people's eyes or face. It's also pretty basic common sense. Still, nothing wrong with being too careful. Alien cat becomes Instagram celebrity from genetic disorder. Matilda, the cat with alien eyes of Instagram fame, only started having swollen eyes after turning one year old. Her owners, identified as the Bearded Man and the Lady, are residents of Vancouver, Canada. When they adopted Matilda, the cat had regular eyes, but then they started having noticeable problems. Because of a genetic disorder, the lenses in both of the cat's eyes detached, making them blind and swollen. Matilda's owners took the cat to several veterinarians and used different treatments before an eye specialist identified the disorder. The eye specialist told Matilda's owners it was a spontaneous lens luxation and she might eventually have to undergo surgery to remove both eyes. Her owners started a GoFundMe page to pay for the cat's medical treatment and reached their goal of $2,500 in a few days. Now, Matilda's owners have started another crowdfunding campaign for cats with similar genetic problems. Teen goes blind from eating only KFC and drinking Coke for eight years. A teen in Perth, Australia nearly lost his ability to see, thanks to a finger licking good yet nutritionally horrendous diet. For eight years, 14-year-old Cian Moore supposedly survived on eating potatoes, bread, KFC and Coca-Cola exclusively. Eventually, he complained to his mother that his eyes had become dry and gritty. He was also having trouble seeing. 
His mother took him to see several eye specialists, and eventually they found out Cian's poor diet had led to a severe vitamin A deficiency. Without vitamin A, the cells in the eye fail to mature properly, resulting in keratin buildup that manifests as spots on the surface of the eye. To save his sight, young Cien had to load up on vitamin A supplements and eat his vegetables. Now 16, the vision in his right eye has almost completely recovered, but his left eye remains permanently damaged. The lesson here? Those 11 secret herbs and spices may be tasty, but they're not everything. Pokemon Go obsession causes women to go blind in one eye. Pokemon Go has taken Taiwan by storm. Last month, hordes of players were caught rushing through the streets in the capital of Taipei in search of a rare Pokemon. But now, doctors say people are spending so much time staring at their phones that some are actually starting to go blind. Ophthalmologist Chen Yuan from New Taipei City Hospital diagnosed a pregnant 31-year-old Pokemon Go obsessive with macular degeneration after she lost sight in one eye. The condition is caused by the deterioration of the central portion of the retina, known as the macula, the inside back layer of the eye that records images and sends them through the optic nerve to the brain. When the cells of the macula deteriorate, images are not received correctly. In severe cases, central vision may be completely lost, while the peripheral vision may stay intact. Ultraviolet or UV light is harmful to the eye and may contribute to macular degeneration. UV light is part of the spectrum below 400 nanometers. While the most abundant source of UV light is the sun, other sources include video display terminals such as computer monitors, tablets, and smartphones. The doctor recommended injections into the eyeball to inhibit blood congestion, but he said the patient refused, fearing it would affect her baby. Some things just can't be cured.